Cardinal Point is an absolutely beautiful new development in the west end of Stouffville. On the one side of Cardinal Point, you have a beautiful condominium complex, low-rise, beautiful views, in excess of uh, $500,000. On the other side, within Cardinal Point, you have townhome complexes, also very expensive in a cul-de-sac area, but this is all about to change. Minto Corporation together with the uh, town of Stouffville has proposed the development of a high density set of dwellings that sit in between both the uh, the condominiums and the townhouse complex and the residents are exceptionally concerned about this. I live at 43 Frozen S Way and I'm opposed to this picture, the entire picture. When I was a little girl, we used to go to the barracks in Sudbury, where some of my uh, parents' military family lived. And when I look at this, this is what it reminds me of. Onto the density of the, um, the entire development. Uh, in my opinion, there's just uh, too many dwellings in one small space. Uh, uh, nowhere else can you see someone's backyard in someone's front yard. It's always backyard to backyard. Shouldn't be any different here. There we go. The community is too highly populated. The population density of this area is already extremely high. But the way the picture actually show it here, I think it's a great invitation for criminals. The uh, park that is adjacent to the commercial parking lot, which I think will invite trouble because just in the noise and just the density of, and the, the number of people that are going to be living in one small congested area. And uh, just the idea of moving here to Stouffville and having this beautiful street with, you know, trees uh, tree that are going to eventually be nice and mature, um, great neighbors, and that just that nice feeling of spirit in Stouffville made me want to buy here. And when I look at this proposal and I see how many families are going to be living with no backyard, like poor lighting, um, and the lighting here is only on this side of the street. I'm not sure what they're going to do on the other side. So that, that's a concern for me. The mm -hmm. fence, we own the fence. I don't know how we can um, redevelop that to suit the, the people who are going to be in our backyard. But I would like to stand up and say if they could flip the houses and we look at their front of the house as opposed to the back, that would be something that I hope the town would be willing to work with us regarding. I'm Brad Valentini of 37 Crow's Nest. And again, my concerns is similar to everyone else's. Main concern because I'm a resident of Crow's Nest is having someone's backyard in my face. Uh, everybody's fighting for green space. According to this plan, if it wasn't for the park, it would be asphalt everywhere. If I was a family, a, a young, young family growing up, I wouldn't want my kids into an area like this. The park is far away from the homes. Uh, there's no grass, no trees. You're living in a concrete jungle. New York exactly, City. concrete jungle. <laughs> you know, we're, we're New York has got Central Park. We're gonna have central population. <laughs> but we, we, something's got to be done. I don't, houses will go up, but make it more livable, more breathable for everybody, and we'll have a Stouffville like everybody wants. Here I'm your Rufus at 53 Crow's Nest Way. And I know that I've talked to a few of you about your concerns, and I share the concerns of most of you here. Um, the community is too highly populated. The population density of this area is already extremely high. Uh, we'll have traffic problems, we'll have um, parking problems, which you've already probably talked about because it is a serious problem. I'm concerned and about the fact that um, I w what I would like to see is the houses along the north side of the park. I'd like them switched to the south side so that their backyards can still face the park, similar to ours, but put a fence on the opposite side so that the park and the whole residential area is cut off from the commercial area. I think that will cut down on people entering um, that are not part of the community. It will also prevent some people who might be loitering in the, um, in the commercial area. It might prevent them from coming through 
with a fence like this to, to prevent it. So let's not change this to a parking lot of homes and so on. Let's keep it as a paradise and as Stolville says, we're country close to the city. There so let's there not make change that. this mm -hmm. into a housing development yes. with future problems down the road. Uh, 23, most that's my name is Stephen Mack. Uh, the lift to work concept, uh, I think it's, it's a uh, it's a nice intention, but uh, if only want to run a, a, a gamble house in the in the back to back townhouse or even a prostitute, you know, a brothels, that's great, you know, because basically they can use the park as a liaison point, and then actually they can go back and do their business, and also like, they can actually have, uh, you know, back entrance, uh, you know, kind of make the back to back townhouse, you know, in one unit basically. So you know, if I'm a police officer. It's a nightmare for me yeah. to enforce the law here. Is that means it's only, only say they can only build medium density. So right now they're going for high. Mm. Right, right so now, what's the current vision of the town? Mm. And, match, put everything on the and match that with what they're presenting. If it doesn't match, like for example, if you drive up 48, it says country... Country close country. to the city. Yeah, this is not. Okay. Oh. High density homes yeah. is not country. No. And <laughs> 33 crow's nest. Um, so the two biggest objections for me are the backyards facing the street because I think it's going to be unsightly, noisy, dangerous because my other concern is um, the park that is adjacent to the commercial parking lot which I think will invite trouble because you have kids playing in the back, in the back of a, a building, you know, a commercial building. Uh, loitering, drinking, whatever, and then they'll make their way to the park and in turn they'll get into our subdivision. And I'm Tini, 37 Crow's Nest Way, and it's like Anne also, my concern, it's about the back, facing a backyard that uh, it's really yeah. unbelievable for me there. We won't have any more privacy. We will go on the second floor, what we're going to see there. Jeffrey there we go. Goy, uh, 25 Crow's Nest Way, basically the same with everyone else. Uh, there's the backyard issue and also the high density from the developer over there. So that's my main two concerns. My name is Indo Narula. I'm from 47 Coast Nestry. I have the same concern, back, back, backyard, back of the backyard and the noise. And there is a parking problem and there is too many people around and it's the density. I'm and I'm a 21 Crow's Nest. And I have concern also about um, the houses facing, <laughs> backyards facing our property. I have um, a concern with the street coming off of um, Main Street now for the park. It uh, was the, <laughs> the only access was going to be through the feeder streets here, and there was yeah. nothing going to be off of the Main Street. So that was. Hi, Bernie. I'm at 27 Coast Street. Well, what I'm doing? I'm in agreement with everything that is here. The high density, <coughs> the park, and uh, the. The excess traffic that was here, we will lose in our privacy. That I am Sean, I live at 63 Crow's Nest, and I have the same concerns as everyone else. Just the congestion, the noise, and just the density of, and the, the number of people that are going to be living in one small congested area. Um, I'm Cheryl Barrett at 59 Crow's Nest, and basically the same concerns as everyone. Um, the density, um, the traffic, the location of the parkland in conjunction to the um, commercial area, no lack of privacy, and the aesthetics of the whole community. Just have to second that, the aesthetics of the whole community. I have the same uh, problem with dealing with this issue like everybody else. But what I'm thinking of is we got 25-foot townhouses here, high-end. We got behind there, we got condos, you know, up to a half a million dollars, high-end. And I feel that this development right now, back-to-back, -back, in high intensification does not reflect the nearby near community and I think the city would have failed us you know in selling us a high-end product when, when it's not in our backyard I don't mean to be elitist but I feel that this will affect our property value as well thank you I'm uh, Gary Hyman from 51 Crows Nest Way and my, my major concern is um, oh, yeah. everything that everybody else said, uh, which really dovetails onto the density 
of the, um, the entire development. In uh, my opinion, there's just uh, too many dwellings in one small space. Uh, I'm, I'm not a professional in, in terms of um, uh, the construction and land use and all of that, uh, but just visually looking at it, I did do a, a little bit of measurement on it, and I feel that we've got uh, roughly 100 dwellings uh, too much uh, in that small little space. Density, backyard, mm -hmm. parking, park, something's got to be done to change. You know what? We want integrity, uh -huh. and we want honesty. We want facts. Right. We yep. want to make sure that they listen to us, and you know, and not just speak that. But together with the town to develop a community that we can we can all live with that is comfortable for everybody. I'm um, I'm hoping that that will come about. I ended my um, what we're saying and work with us to try to make this, you know, something that's going to be livable for everybody.